Okay, so right now it is December 29th at 1.10 in the morning, and I got really bored, and I'm really tired, so you know, it's just, it's time for another midnight ramble. You know, I know that you're in love with these, so, well, here's my cat. No, bitch. Sorry, my cat jumped on my desk, and she won't go away, and she is like, she's the kind of cat that when I'm sleeping in my bed with my door closed, she scratches at the door when I'm sleeping. And so finally I'm like, okay, this is annoying. I let her in. And then the second that I let her in and close my door again, she scratches to get out. Like, I get out of bed. I'm comfy. I get out of bed. And then she goes in and scratches. It makes me uncomfortable. So I let her in. And she's like, okay, I'm comfy now. And I get back and I get comfy. And then she wants to get out. She's the kind of cat that I kick downstairs. Okay, so if you ever wonder why my cat is, like, retarded, that's why I kick her downstairs. So, first topic is that my phone needs, like, my phone sucks. My phone, love this thing so much. It's slide phone, I love it. But for the last week or so, it's been randomly freezing, turning off, and then it just stops working, and then it restarts itself. So I'll be mid-text, and then it'll just stop working. That's not really awesome. So T-Mobile, you suck T-Mobile, you really just aren't good at all. So when it freezes, like, it freezes on the screen. Like, it'll be, like, sending a text, and then it'll stop, and it won't respond. Even if you turn it off, it has to wait to turn off itself. So I'll just, like, try and turn it off. It won't respond to that. But it's really weird, because, you know, I don't keep my phone on loud. I keep my phone on vibrate almost all the time. So when I put my phone in my pocket, and then I get a text, and it'll be like, vibrate, 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 and it stays on vibrate. And it's in my pocket, so, like, I'll be sitting in class. Or I'll be sitting at my grandma's house or something, and I'll just be sitting there, and then all of a sudden vibrate, and I just start giggling. I'm like, ha ha, it's vibrating, and my grandma's like, what are you looking at? And I was like, sorry, I'm vibrating. And then it's really awkward to try and explain to her, because she doesn't know about technology. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway, a completely unrelated topic is I'm going to talk about movies again, because I do that. B-rated horror films. Oh my god, they make my life so happy. Um, you'll notice these movies, they have the best titles and the best plots in the world. And by best plots, I mean the worst plots. My favorite one is actually Teeth. You've seen Teeth. That's the one about the girl with the teeth in her hoo-ha. Um, and she bites things off. And by things, I mean inappropriate male places. That's what she bites off with her hoo-hoo. Hoo-ha, 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 and her teeth. Just, it's like, ah. That's what it's like, the whole movie. It's like, like that. Um, another one was Black Sheep. It's about evil sheep, and I swear to God, on the back of the box, it was like, the t it was described as, Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep, and now they're coming to kill you. That's hilarious. And then, oh, this is the best one. It's called The Gingerbread Man. Just let that soak in for a sec. A B-rated horror film about a gingerbread man. The back of the box reads, A baker was cooking a cookie one day and accidentally cut his whole hand off. That's not just like a finger or blood, it's the whole hand. And instead of throwing it away or calling the emergency room, he continues to make it into a cookie and he puts it in the oven. Makes it into a cookie and then the cookie comes to life and it's a killer. And the back of the box says, Run, run, run as fast as you can. The cookie man is going to kill you. That's all I have to say about it. Oh, and the um, sequel is called The Gingerbread Man 2, Passion of the Crust. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect sequel name. I don't, I don't need to say any more. I've said what I had to say about that. <sighs> oh, I watched a movie today. Godzilla 2000. Like, speak of the worst movie in the world. It was just terrible. Basically, it's Godzilla revamped, you know, to make it look like graphics were good, but graphics were they graphics were bad. First of all, graphics were they were really bad. Second of all, it was a terrible storyline. Godzilla comes and attacks the city. Way to be original. Okay, that was just you suck. Okay, giant monster killing the city. Have not seen that a million times before with Cloverfield, Godzilla, Godzilla two, Godzilla three, however many they made. <sighs> I'm sick of it. And Huh, what else? Yeah. Godzilla would crawl through the cement, like, through buildings and, like, the sewer, 
and through walls and stuff. Really? Godzilla is a... I don't know. I'm done. Um, he was described as a... In this movie, he's a mutated iguana because of radiation during World War II. So that means that radiation that happened during World War II because of the atomic bomb, he's grown up, lived like 80 years, maybe, like 70 years since the bombs were dropped, and grew without dying. With no dying, he just grew a lot. And then he got angry. And so this movie, he is an asexual mutated iguana that came from French Polynesia, French Polynesia, not Japan, French Polynesia, and comes to America to lay eggs. And he lays like 200 eggs, and there's little baby Godzilla's running everywhere, and it's just terrible. It just pisses me off so much. <sighs> oh, but here's the... They made a bunch of racist remarks. Well, and by a bunch, I mean one that just really stood out at me. In the beginning, a Japanese tanker gets killed not just killed, but, like, attacked, and the people inside get killed, except for one Japanese guy. And the doctor's like, what happened? What happened? Not even, like, a police officer, just a doctor. It was like, what happened? You know, like, you know, if you get attacked by it, something, the, you know, you think the police would come after you, but no, it was a doctor. And so the doctor comes over, and he's like, what happened to you? And then the Japanese guy's like, Godzilla! He doesn't even say Godzilla or anything. He's Godzilla! 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 And that's all he keeps saying. Like, Godzilla! I'm like, how do you know about Godzilla? No, you're Japanese. Okay, you're not from French Polynesia. You're from Japan. Okay? No. Anyway. I saw Avatar. Oh my god. Peter Jackson. No, not Peter Jackson. That was King Kong. James Cameron. You're great. You made Titanic, Alien, and that's really all that I know you for. But they're good movies. And so Avatar was amazing. Now, I'm just going to say this right off the bat. I don't believe in bestiality or, like, interspecies relations, but, oh my god, those Avatar people were so hot. Like, honestly, I, mm, yeah, so if you're wondering what to get me for my birthday, just go get me an Avatar person, please. Just, like, a little Avatar. I'll be happy. Um, I'd be on that so fast. You don't even know. This is not even funny. Those Avatar people are hot. I wish I were an Avatar. That's why I did this in blue. Because Avatar, blue, I'm... Ooh, I'm an Avatar now. Now, it wasn't nearly as good as Titanic, because I'm, like, a sucker for chick flicks. A Walk to Remember, um, Dear John, when that one comes out. Ooh, here we go. Titanic, just a bunch of chick flicks. I'm totally for those. But, yeah. This was good, just not Titanic or chick flicks. It was good, though. Um, the graphics were really good, I'm surprised, because it was, you know, didn't think I was scared. Because, you know, it's in 3D, so when you think 3D lately, all the 3D movies have sucked, but they've only focused on the 3D because they think that's the way of the future. They say goodbye to the storyline and they bring on 3D, and that's not okay. Oh, but I think the best part for me, though, the entire time, there was an Alice in Wonderland trailer attached to it. And I saw that. I have never seen an Alice trailer. I went to go see Princess and the Frog a couple weeks ago. Pretty much just so I could see the Alice trailer. Because, you know, it's Disney. I didn't see it. It's only in 3D movies, apparently. But yeah, I saw it. And oh my god, I just about pissed my pants. I was so giddy. Oh my god, another nine minute video. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I need to be done. Okay, bye.